Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are on the track and printing postword for the night's ninth race. Second division of the 1995 Jug Preview. Three-year-old Colton Geldings racing one mile, purse of $57,000. Field of eight, there are no changes. Off the rail, a son of Albatross over the McIntosh stables, the CSX stables. Seymour, Grundy, and Paul Yesbury, Robert McIntosh, the uh, trainer. A two-year-old bus to 154 and three at Woodbine, earnings of $103,000. Leading driver here at Sutter Downs, Dave Miller driving Midnight Island. From post position two, an Ohio bred son of good to see you. Over the fun time farms of Columbus, Ohio, Gary Martin, the uh, trainer. A mark of 153 and two at the Meadows, earnings of $142,000. From post position two, fun time go getter with Ken Holiday. From post position three, a son of Nero. Over Dean Collins and Diane Elliott of Ohio, Dean Collins trading. A three-year record right here at Setter Downs, 54 and four, earnings of $16,000. Number three, Bannock with Dean Collins. From post position four, a basin of no nukes, sold by Tom Montrum, the Banjo Farms, Kelman Leibowitz, and the Burloak Stables. Tom Artandy training, three-year record of 152 and four at the Meadowlands, earnings of $340,000 coming in from Woodbine. Mike Lachance driving Kinney Hanover. From post position five, a base son of On the Road Again. Owned by Chad and Tom Gregory of Ohio. James Sack of the trainer. A three-year record, 154 and three at Syracuse. Earnings of $29,000. Coming in from Monticello, Chip Noble driving On the Ribs Again. From post position six, a base out of Abercrombie, owned by Howard Peterson of Carmel, Indiana, Ernie Gaskin trains. Three-year-old market 151 at Dequoin, earnings of $113,000. Greg Haston driving Viking Commander. From post position seven, a base son of Albatross, owned by Doug McIntosh, Dan Kiwak, Giles Coad of Ontario, Michigan, Doug McIntosh, the trainer, a three-year record of 153 at Woodbine. Earnings of $201,000 coming in from Mohawk. It's collector's piece with Mike Seftick. And from the outside, post position eight, a base out of Abercrombie. Home of the Alistair Stables, Jerry and Rosalie Savilla, Dina Frost of New York, Brendan Johnson, the trainer. A two-year-old bus to 155 and one at Indianapolis. $84,000 in earnings. Jeff out driving, canceled an ace. There's your field for the second division of the Junk Preview. One play show perfecta trifecta we drink. Second division, Junk Preview, Colts and Gildings. They're on and behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch. And there they go. And uh, they're off. Fun time go getters sent quickly for the lead off the rail, Midnight Island. Bannock from between horses looking to duck quickly third of the inside of fourth, Kenny Hanover. On the ribs again, came away fifth, angling in sixth, Viking Commander, followed closely by Collector's Peace and Castle and Ace, the early trailer. Into the first turn they go, and Holiday has the two. Fun time go-getter on the front here, leading by two and a half lengths. Midnight Island getting the two-hole trip is second. Bannock founds a seat third on the inside and racing a fourth. It's Kenny Hanover. Opening quarter in 28 seconds. This field in straight formation as they come through the stretch. Fun time go get her with a lead. Midnight Island is a patient second. Bannock on the inside is third. Here comes a little chance with Kenny Hanover moving first up on the outside fourth. On the ribs again, quickly takes that cover fifth. Viking Commander right at his heels is third over in the cover flow sixth. Then comes Collector's Peace and the trailer following a break is Castle and Ace. Into the clubhouse turn with fun time go getter in charge here by two, the half and 56 and four. Off the turn and down the back stretch, fun time go getter leading by two lengths. To the outside, Kenny Hanover is pressuring the leader's second, Midnight Island. In the pocket is third. Outside racing a fourth. 
It's on the ribs again. Bannock now buried fifth on the rail. Viking Commander is drafting along sixth. Collector's Peace right at his heels. Now the field begins to tighten as they reach the three-quarter mile marker. Fun time go getter. A five to one shot here. Three quarters, 124 and three. Midway to the final chair in Holiday going to work on Fun Time Go Getter. And he responds gamely here. Opens up by two and a half. But here comes Midnight Island. Angling off the rail now. Kitty Hanover is fading. Lost an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. Here comes Midnight Island to the outside. And Midnight Island, a 24 to one shot, will take the second division of the 95 Jug Preview in 152 and three. Trackside, the unofficial winner of the second division junk preview off the rail tonight, Midnight Island, a three-year-old son of Albatross from Three Mile Island. With the McIntosh Stables, CSX Stables, Seymour Grundy and Paul Yansbury of Ohio and Canada. Robert McIntosh, the trainer, nicely handled by leading driver here at Center Downs, Dave Muller. Midnight Island, only his seventh season's start. His first season's victory, and that is a new lifetime record, 152 and 3 Midnight Island, using the garden spot trip the entire mile here, and capitalizing at the top of the stretch. Miller with a big stretch move puts Midnight Island right on the front end. Ninth race is now official. 1-4 Perfecta paying $237.20, 237.20. The Trifecta 1-4-2, $693.80, 693.80. Trackside to make the trophy presentation, president and director of Center Downs and Mid-America Racing Association, Mrs. Charles Hill, vice president and director, Mr. Robert Steele, and director of racing, Mr. James Ewart. Also trackside to make that trophy presentation from Budweiser, Rich Hilliard. Now the winning trainer of each jug winner will receive a four-day, three-night trip to Las Vegas, staying at the Hilton, courtesy of Augie Blevins, Turn Travel and U.S. Air.